Hey guys, it's Ken, Paul, and Mark Andre. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. We are still in Chesterfield, uh, Michigan, and we found this vintage McDonald's. And we're going to go in there and uh, have breakfast. And I'm going to be reviewing something I haven't reviewed for you guys yet, which is the McGriddle, which is one of my favorite breakfast items at McDonald's. Nice. Are, you guys, are you guys ready? Yes. Let's go. Morning, how are you? All right, uh, I'm gonna have the uh, McGriddle, the sausage McGriddle, please. Oh, oh and a hash brown and. You want the meal? Uh, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll do a small orange juice and uh, a large coffee with two cream, two sugar, please. Hash browns cook to perfection. Mm. I got the He Man breakfast. Oh, the He Man. <laughs> That's yours. I got a whittle of yogurt. Like, wow. wow. Like, like, I didn't think anybody bought those. He is. He's the first one. <laughs> the first one. First Let one. Let us know in the comments below if you guys do the yogurt. I made a brave, bold step. <laughs> the first time you tried it? Yes. Wow. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh boy. Luckily this thing is as thick as the blizzard. <laughs> that was a blizzard test right there. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't go large. Holy cow. I can't remember the last time I tried it. The orange juice? Oh, the orange juice? Look at it. It's, it's really, really big. Like a little packet. Oh, I like so. McDonald's. Like a grape jelly. I've never seen it like this oh, before. Wait. It's like a ketchup sure. packet almost. Strawberry preserves. I'm not sure jam. if that's a statewide thing and we just don't get those in Canada. Yeah, or no, 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 no. I've never seen that before. Yo, yeah, okay, based on the size of this bag, how much granola do you think would have come in here? You think a lot. Yeah. Look at small there. I was like, wait, what? Look at that. <laughs> nice ball. This is gonna give me. I gotta have a nice nap on the way home. <laughs> no kidding. So this is, a, this is a test. Last time, like I love McDonald's coffee and uh, McCafe coffee in Canada, but the last time I had McDonald's coffee was in New York State, and all I think all four of us threw the coffee out. No, 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 it was no, no, so no. bad. We were in New, we were in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. We were coming back on the, it was on that climbing trip. And I don't usually throw out a coffee. Is even that the last time you had one in the states? That's how like bad it was. Like I, just, I try to get no, something I, yeah. else. And I didn't, I didn't drink money. What, that what's that, that that chain of uh, gas stations? Did it start with an? Oh boy. The chain of gas stations in the states that everybody knew when we went there. And the we coffee was there. excellent. And the coffee and we was amazing. And we were just amazing. like, wow, it's gonna come to me. Yeah. yeah. So there's my McGriddle. Nice, a nice grease buster breakfast mm. for you. So it's getting smaller for oh, sure. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause that. Used to be, I'm pretty sure, a little much bigger. So it's like an inf uh, syrup infused, a maple syrup infused patty of bread. That's why I got the big, the big He Man breakfast. Well, because it has it in it too. Well, it doesn't have the biscuit. Bread. I got a biscuit, and then but I got a, a sausage. Oh, uh, okay. It looks like a sandwich. Eggs, home fry. It's called the Killer Carb Breakfast. Mm, carbs are good. Mm -hmm. You can actually see one of the little flavor. Things burst right there. Good. Yeah. Look at that. Syrup pack. That's like little syrup <laughs> things in there. Syrup pockets. Ooh, sneaky. This is a very clean McDonald's. Not a whole lot of people so. here. I'm, I guess because the breakfast rush is out, and I guess it looks pretty new too. 
But a sign looked really old. Like weathered? Yeah. Yeah, but it could have been a, an overhaul of the location, too. Okay. Possibly. It was an overhaul of the sign. Well, like they did on purpose have a really old looking sign. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So, so this year McDonald's we're keeping it classic. I know a few of you guys live in Chesterfield. If you know this location, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let people know if it was a refurbished uh, McDonald's and they made it look like a uh, an old McDonald's or one of the original McDonald's. So from the movie The Founder, this is what would it look like? The one he built, but it wasn't like the ones that I, the brothers built. I don't think. Okay. Now I gotta watch that movie. So that oh, you know what? It was it was one of the brothers' concepts for this with the two arches oh, and, yeah? and the sit-in area. Because the original McDonald's, it was only you only had to come up to a window and order through the and window. Order through. And then I think they had a plan to make a restaurant like this, and then um, Michael Keaton actually built it without their permission. Was, like the guy who the guy who Michael Keaton plays is a bit of a dick. Ah. <laughs> Their orange juice tastes like freshly squeezed. It's pretty good. Last bite. Mm. How was it? As good as always. Mm. One of my favorite breakfast items here. But like the ultimate is the egg McMuffin. If I'm if I'm if I need a breakfast and I get, and I want a, a good breakfast, I just get the egg McMuffin. It's fast. It's simple. It's easy. I know what it tastes like. McDonald's never burns the buns. Well, at least I've never had a burnt bun. I'm gonna try this coffee. See if the Chesterfield McDonald's McCafe does a good job on their mixing of their double double. Cheers. Cheers. The one, the one cream. It. The one cream classic. I guess I'll cheers too. Cheers, man. Cheers, cheers. my. Did, did you orange. go black today or did you go regular? No, I just put one cream. One yeah. cream. different than ours. Yeah. So excited, man. It's the, Can uh, the Canadian. It's Canada. Canada and the States have two different recipes. For coffee? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it blends is, yeah. not, is the right word. Blend of coffee. Do you want a hash brown? No, I had one. Did Thank you me. have one already? With that? I didn't even see I always eat it first. Eat your hash browns oh, first. Oh, the people. biscuit, you can open it up and make your own. There you go. There you put your preserves. Already, see? I never had jam in a baggie before. Never had jam with what? In a baggie. Oh. Yeah, you know, jam in a baggie. Jam in a baggie. You've never had jam. You never had this before, where it's inside of like ketchup thing. Oh. Oh yeah, because they're always in that little tab oh, thing. Little pull it. Thank you. That's true. A little top. I I concur. Have oh, you had that like that before? I couldn't tell you if I have or haven't. Definitely, definitely, when you go to like a. Some of those restaurants, they'll have that little basket of jams, mm -hmm. but they're all in that little hard plastic thing and you have to peel the top off. This is probably better for the environment. That's Not that it's great for the environment. That's the first, thing I've ever, first time I've ever seen it like that. Hmm. Of course, ketchup and vinegar and I've always done that, but i got to drink up my juice. All right, guys, it's time to rate our breakfast. Right. Mark andre you can go first. I'll say indifferent. Like, it's, it's all right. You know, it's yogurt. You know, you don't really go too wrong with it, but I, like the fruits inside are also very sugary. Oh, okay. They're like almost like, candied fruit. Yeah. Sugar's good. And I'm not a big fan of it. This oh. is your typical breakfast. This is what you I was supposed order. to make a face on that. <laughs> so what are you going to rate your food, bud? Um, it's good. Yeah? It's on the fly if you're hungry and um, you know, it's definitely you can't go wrong. Like it's. I mean, you have to eat it in the restaurant. You can't eat that in your car. Yeah, no. it'd probably go cold pretty quick. Yeah, especially the much of time. So, yeah, decent. Coffee was good. Excellent. Yeah, the coffee's totally drinkable. Yes. If I was stuck for a coffee, I'd I, buy this I coffee. Got, but this is my first coffee since we threw those coffees in as well. Yeah. We're on the climbing trip, and it was, that was, I it was burnt. Yeah. Something was wrong. Something was There's wrong. There's no way they're serving coffee like that. And I've never seen five, four guys throw their coffee. That's how bad it was. Anyway, on my rating scale, guys, I'm going to give the McGriddle. I guess I did the sausage egg McGriddle, yeah. and uh, it is definitely one of my favorite things here. So it's a go out and get it now. The hash browns are perfectly fine. Orange juice is great. Again, the coffee. Uh, if I was coming by this area all the time, I'd probably just go to a Tim Hortons and try their coffee, or or maybe a local place that probably has better coffee than, than this. Sorry, McDonald's, but this coffee uh, for my Canadian tongue isn't that great. But 
It is drinkable, and I will finish that. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It is somewhere on this page. But if you want to show your support for me, Paul, and Mark andre coming all the way to Chesterfield just to eat at McDonald's and uh, some other places, uh, give it a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Ken, Paul, and Mark andre food review. Paul, Mark andre Ken out. Boop, boop.